sticking up in people's noses or mouths or whatever and manipulating people in that way. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Jitte we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the history behind it, some of my own thoughts and ideas about its development, who would use it, and at the end, I'm put together a little montage of people training with the Jitte. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Jitte we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So Jitte were very, very popular a couple of hundred years ago in Japan. Now, they were used instead of swords. So swords have been outlawed. They weren't allowed anywhere at all. Very, very, very sort of underground weapon they became for a certain amount of time. So the Jitte was the replacement instead of swords. So you get a lot of officials carrying these like, um, like I guess like police here would, would carry a truncheon. The Jitte effectively was the truncheon of the time. And it was kind of seen as like a kind of badge or certificate. So someone carrying a Jitte would be on official business. And they, and they use these in, instead of swords. So as the kind of weapon, the enforcement weapon of choice. I've always thought Jitte is kind of an evolution or maybe a devolution, depending on how you want to look at it, of the Sai. So Sai has been a weapon that's been in Asia for a long, long time. And I've always seen that as an evolution from a rice farming tool, a bit like a dibber that you'd use in a garden these days for making holes to plant rice. But they've been weapons for a long, long time. And Sai just change all over the place. There's all kinds of different versions of Sai, like the hooks change in different ways, like the pommels are different. And the Jitte, I personally think, is just an evolution from that. So this particular one we've got here has got quite a heavier end than the Sai tend to be. And also a much, much smaller hook as you can see. Now, this makes a lot more sense if you are using it as a truncheon, just to whack people over the head and all the rest of it. It's got a much more truncheon feel than the side do. Even though side do have a relatively same kind of feel to them, very good for like whacking loads of weight in them, these are absolutely no exception. Now, one thing is that these are different is that they do have a tassel on the end of them. Now, there's lots and lots of different theories for tassels for the swords. You don't tend to get tassels so much in Japanese martial arts, so I wouldn't necessarily know why that's there. But yeah, they, people do use them for balance. But also, if this is like an official weapon, like in terms of like a policeman's weapon, it might be as like a little badge of like wealth or like officialness. So maybe, maybe the knots or the tassels were different depending on different police forces or different like departments of authority. I don't know, that's just a guess, but if you know more about them, definitely drop in a comment because I'd be really, really interested to know. Now this particular Jitte also has a nice handle wrap made out of like wrapped, wrapped nylon twine. So that's really good as a hand grip in terms of holding onto the thing while you're practicing your techniques. Now another really interesting thing to note about the Jitte is that these particular hooks here and on the side as well are kind of called sword catchers or you know designed for catching swords or weapons in them now that doesn't seem to be the case it doesn't seem to be actually what they were designed for now obviously it will protect as a guard so i'm sure if you were lucky enough to be able to catch a sword in it it would do its job but actually in terms of law enforcement it seemed to be that they were for sort of um, sticking in people's clothing or sticking up in people's noses or mouths or whatever and manipulating people in that way so actually used as a way of offen offense rather than defense as it were so yeah Quite gruesome to stick that up someone's nose, but if you're if you're practicing uh, defenses and attacks with these, like give it a go. Don't shove it right up there because obviously that would really really hurt. But yeah, I'm sure that's very very painful and a very effective use of the jitte. So what styles would you use a jitte? Well, as a Japanese kabuto weapon, there's not that many styles that are teaching kabuto these days. But it would fall into the same kind of realms as sai, kama. Um, 
Tom first, styles like that. So if you find someone that's teaching that, they're probably gonna be teaching a jitte as well, although it is another step rarer than those particular weapons. So if you did wanna train with this, it might be that you need to find yourself a training partner and just have a go, and also find some online classes and read through books and like find some techniques yourself. There's not gonna be many stars that are actually teaching jitte these days, but it's definitely a really interesting weapon to learn and definitely worthwhile spending a bit of time learning this weapon. So just having a look at the dimensions of the jitte. Now, I'm sure that every single jitte in the world that you could buy has got slightly different dimensions. So this is just the one that we have in stock now, which is 41 centimeters or around 16 inches. And having a look at the weight of this weapon, this weighs in at 400 grams, which given the size of it, it's pretty heavy. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we have quite a wide range of relatively rare Japanese weapons. So as well as the Jitte, we also have Metal Camera and Red Oak and Black Oak Camera. Red Oak Hambo, really nice and heavy Japanese Red Oak bow staffs. And the nice heavyweight training, Subaru Waka. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with Jitte. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful, I hope you learned loads about the Jitte we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, remember to click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers!